I want you to picture this. You open your fridge, you see a yogurt cup. It looks fine, it smells fine, but then you see the date on the lid, expired yesterday. And suddenly your brain panics. Is it dangerous? Is it still safe? Or is that date just a suggestion? Every year, billions of dollars worth of perfectly edible food is thrown away because of one tiny printed date. But here's the surprising truth. Most expiry dates are not what you think they are. Today, we're uncovering what expiry dates really mean, where they came from, and why they quietly control what we eat, even when the food itself hasn't gone bad. Let's start at the beginning. For most of human history, food didn't have dates. People relied on smell, taste, and experience. If milk smelled sour, you didn't drink it. Simple. Expiry dates only became common in the 20th century when food started traveling long distances, sitting on shelves and being sold to millions of strangers. Manufacturers needed a way to protect consumers, protect themselves from lawsuits, and guarantee consistent quality. So dates were introduced, not originally as safety warnings, but as quality markers. That's an important distinction we'll come back to. Here's where most confusion begins. There isn't just one type of date. Best before means quality, not safety. After this date, food may slowly lose flavor, texture, or freshness, but it's usually still safe to eat if stored properly. Use by is different. This one is about safety, especially for highly perishable foods like fresh meat, fresh fish, or dairy. After this date, the risk of harmful bacteria increases. Sell-by dates are mostly for stores, not you. They tell retailers how long to display a product, not when it suddenly becomes dangerous. So when people say, this food is expired, they're often mixing up three very different meanings. Here's something that surprises many people. In most countries, manufacturers decide the dates themselves. They test food under controlled conditions, temperature, packaging, storage time. Then they choose a date that guarantees the product still meets their standards, not necessarily the last safe day. To be safe, legally, companies often choose conservative dates. That means the food usually lasts longer than the label suggests. This is especially true for canned food, dry foods, frozen products. That's why unopened canned goods can last years beyond their printed date without becoming dangerous. So should you ignore expiry dates? Not exactly. Dates matter most for fresh meat, fresh seafood, unpasteurized dairy. But for foods like rice, pasta, chocolate, honey, canned goods, time affects quality, not safety. Your senses still matter. Smell, texture, and appearance are often better indicators than a printed number. The date is a guide, not a switch that turns food poisonous overnight. So the next time you hesitate before throwing food away, remember this. Expiry dates were created to guide quality and reduce risk, not to override common sense. Understanding what those dates really mean can save money, reduce food waste, and help you make smarter choices. If this surprised you, give the video a like, share it with someone who always throws food away just in case, and subscribe to Simple Things Surprising Histories for more hidden stories behind everyday things, because sometimes the most ordinary labels hide the most misunderstood truths.